Christ brought us together through His death on the cross got us to embrace and what is the end of this hostility. Christ came and preached peace, say with me, peace, to the outsiders and insiders. He treated us equals and made us equals through Him so that we both share the same spirit and equal access to the Father. So, ang ginagingon din niya sa part 1 sa context is both outsiders and insiders. Christ brought us together and this life has a message because of the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. So sa part 2 po, nahimu na siyang practical. Okay? Ang part 1, it's all about the gospel. Christ came to preach. To preach what? To preach peace. The peace or the message of reconciliation. That's the gospel. But on the part 2, it gets practical. Kaya nga naman, nag impose na siya kung unsa daong mga Christian kailangan na mag-respond sa grasya na na-experience nila diha sa gibuhat ni Lord sa ilahang kinabuhi. Ang second part, Ali, in verse 19 to 22, nag-focus na siya sa gospel na nag-change ilang life. Wala lang siya nag-focus sa gospel na preach But the part two is sa gospel na nag-usab silang kinabuhi. So, dili lang siya about the words. Okay? But so, about sa nabag-o pinaagi sa word. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, church, may always may part two talaga sa buhay mo. Amen? Amen? It's not just about part one. Mag-mingle-mingle ka, maglipay-lipay ka, kay luwas ka. Let's say, always come part two. Amen? Diya sa grasya sa ginaw, dapat maglakaw ka. May sama ka, mapariha ka niya, magkinabuhit ka na sama niya, muliwat ka niya, ayun yung katapad, muliwat ka sa iya. Amen? Amen? Kung giyon sa sa gino, pag-share ang iyang kinabuhit, ayun, anak mo, pag-share niyo sa gospel. Yes, amen. amen? It gets practical. When there's come sa gospel, it will lead us to, in a practical way, we need to share. Amen? 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 Kanang reconciliation message, we need to send that on other people. Amen ba? It is just a gospel story na makita na ito sa Ephesians. But it is not just about the gospel. But it's all about the gospel when it change sa ilang life story. Amen. Ano yung story mo ngayon? I believe, na ilahit mo siguro, but one thing for sure na akong hibawaan, the gospel that changed you, that leads you here. Amen. Amen. Amen? Dugay na kayo ka no, sa church, pero ang, ang, ang foundation ni mo di ay kay tungkol sa gospel. Now, naan naman ka din niya. Now, let's allow that gospel to grow for you to survive. To grow for you to share. Amen? Kasi yung importante talaga, sabi pa nga ni Lord sa kanyang mga disciple, hindi yung ano yung pagkakaalam mo sa word, kundi kung ano yung pag-obey mo sa word. You will be known as a true disciple if you obey the word of the Lord. Sino yung mga disciple dito? Kasi yung mga disciple is obedient sa word of the Lord.